Okay guys, today I'm going to replace the bushing in my tail housing on my NP231. Um, it's just leaking oil and I put a new seal in it, that didn't do it. Um, so I've read that there's a bushing in here and I see it right in there. And if that thing gets loose, that, that can also cause your tail uh, housing to leak oil. So what I've done is I've simply undone the three bolts there, taking the tail housing off, and I was going to show you, this is uh, the shaft that goes in, and I was just going to show you, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is loose, maybe you can hear it, anyway, What I'm going to do is uh, replace that bushing, and that bushing is right inside there. It's very, very thin, so I'm going to see what I can do to get that thing out and uh, show you a trick I've learned. Maybe it'll help everybody else, too. And there's my Jeep that my uh, transfer case came out of, and I'm doing a swap. I'm putting a uh, AX-15 in there and I took out the AX-5. As you can see there's my bell housing for my um, I got out of a Dodge Dakota. There's the AX-15 and here's my MP231 transfer case. Here's my uh, old transmission, the AX-5. So we're just doing a, I'm just doing a transmission swap and I was going to go ahead and replace this bushing while I'm at it. <clears throat> okay, so here's this, the housing, here's the bushing, and this is a socket that I had. This is actually a one and a quarter inch cheap Taiwan socket. What I've done is kind of sanded the ends of it, the edges of it, to make it more of a flat, perpendicular 90 degree angle. And then I'm putting it in, just inside here. It just so happens that fits perfect leaves me a little bit of room. Hammer. And it's going down. Done deal. You saw it. Here it is. It's out. I just need to order another bushing put in there. Let's see. It says on here F23. And I'm looking at the surface of the bushing. You can see how it's kind of worn. Um, so maybe this will help with my leaky um, output shaft. So, inch and a quarter socket. I ground the edges flat so that it would just fit inside here and leave a little bit of room. Pound it down with your hammer. Done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I install this new bushing using my bench vise. Basically, open the vise up, um, put the flat surface against the teeth here in the center, put your bushing in at the top, somewhat square. Alright, so tail housing. Now I'm just going to start it with using just the teeth of the vise and it'll keep it square as well. So do that. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but that just squeezed in. Let's see. Let's see if I can 
turn it where you can see it. Okay, so I've got it started. You can see right there. Started good and square. So now I'm going to use my socket that I used to, to knock it out with and press it in the rest of the way. I have to come further back with my vice. Be sure you have all this uh, pretty well centered. Okay. All right. So we've got it all centered. Now I'm just going to press down with my bench vise. You can see it going in. See if I can turn it a little bit better. Basically, I'm just pressing it in. It goes in real nice. Done. Release your pressure. There you go. Alright, hope this helps you in your Jeep project. Thanks.